we are not only growing bigger, but we are also growing faster. When India grows, the whole world grows. India will be the third largest economy soon. Hi everybody, welcome to Curious. India's economic growth is not only fascinating, but also incredibly important in today's global landscape. From struggling under heavy regulations to becoming one of the world's fastest growing economies, India's economic journey is nothing short of inspiring. In 1947, India gained independence with a struggling economy and implemented the License Raj, drowning businesses in red tape and discouraged the innovation. State control extended to various sectors, leading to inefficiencies and economic stagnation. In 1991, a balance of payment crisis forced India to open its markets for foreign investments, initiating economic liberalization. Subsequently, India's GDP experienced remarkable growth soaring from just $273 billion in 1991 to $3.75 trillion by 2023. India surged forward with an astounding 6.5% GDP growth rate catapulting it among the fastest growing economies worldwide in spite of pandemic. Today, India stands as the world's fifth largest economy poised to become the third largest by 2030. Let us understand why India's economy is booming. The heart of this growth is the service sector of the country. Service sector commands over 60% of India's GDP, marking its dominance in the global service industry. Service sector is not just about the software, it's about the entire spectrum from finance to healthcare, entertainment to e-commerce. According to NASCOM, the IT sector in India would reach an estimated revenue of $245 billion in the financial year 2023 with over 759 million active internet services in India, it also boasts one of the largest online populations globally. This widespread access to technology has also enabled digital transformation across industries. India has emerged as the third largest startup ecosystem globally with over 55,000 startups. It's a hub for innovation and entrepreneurship, fostering technological advancements. The NASCOM Zinova Startup Ecosystem Report 2022 highlights that India added over 1,600 startups in 2020 despite the challenges posed by the pandemic and added second highest number of unicorns only behind USA. India's demographics with nearly 65% of the population below the age of 35 poses a potent demographic dividend. As per the World Economic Forum, India's demographic advantage could add up to 2% to its GDP growth annually for the next two decades. India receives over $100 billion plus remittance annually from its NRI population every year, which help to maintain our forex reserves. The financial sector, which has witnessed a significant expansion with a well-regulated banking system and a thriving stock market. This has provided the necessary financial infrastructure for investment and growth. The Reserve Bank of India reported that India's banking sector's total assets amounted to about 2.7 trillion US dollars in the financial year 2022. Along with this, UPI sets new record with over 1000 crores monthly transaction in August and September 2023, making financial inclusion a close to reality. The Made in India tag reverberates across the industries worldwide. The best example is the new iPhone model being shipped across the globe from India. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry reported that India's total merchandise exports for the period of 2022-23 were $447.46 billion, indicating its substantial role in the global trade. No nation can prosper alone. India's strategic partnerships span across continents, solidifying its presence in the world. First up is India's relationship with the US. The Indo-US alliance is often termed as a defining partnership of the 21st century. It encompasses defense, trade, technology and shared commitment to democratic values. Going forward, it is in India's favor to further fortify this relationship. 
However, equally important for India is its relationship with Russia, a time-tested ally, the Indo-Russian friendship which encompasses multiple sectors such as defense, space exploration and economic collaboration. Forums moving forward, India cannot rely only on the bilateral relationship. It should also give increased weightage to the different multilateral organizations and alliances that it is part of. The quadrilateral security dialogue or the quad is at the top. Quad brings together India, the US, Japan and Australia to foster regional stability, economic growth and democratic values. India's seat at the G20 table empowers it to shape global economic policies and advocate for the reforms that reflects the interests of emerging economies, especially the global south. And then we have BRICS. As a member of BRICS, India participates in the grouping that represents over 40% of the world's population, offering immense economic potential and a platform for South-South cooperation. BRICS also gives a platform for India to have a tough but necessary dialogues with China. However, alongside these achievements, India faces deep-rooted challenges where India still needs to make significant improvements. India has one of the highest level of income inequality globally. Oxfam's report, Survival of the Richest, states that there is no dearth of wealth in the country. It is all simply accumulated at the very top. The top 30% of Indians own 90% of the wealth in the country. It is the rest of the country, the other 70%, who suffer from the effects of scarcity. Taxing the 10 richest Indian billionaires at 1% can fill the vacuum in the elementary school across the country for 13 years. Taxing all of the India's billionaires at 2% would support the malnourished in the country for 3 years. Despite strides in the education, access to quality schooling remains uneven across India. According to National Sample Survey Office, only 10% of the rural households and 20% of the urban households have access to computers. While the country has been focusing on improving its infrastructure over the last decade, India still faces substantial infrastructure gap in the sectors like transportation, energy and sanitation. This hinders economic growth and development. The National Infrastructure Pipeline estimates that India needs around $1.4 trillion in infrastructure investment by 2025. The agrarian sector, employing over 50% of the India's workforce, faces challenges like stagnant productivity, land fragmentation and inadequate access to the markets. There has been no major factor driving improvement in the agriculture output since the now outdated green and white revolution. Disparities in access to quality health care service still persist, especially in the rural and remote areas. COVID-19 pandemic further highlighted the inadequacies of the healthcare system. As per the National Health Profile 2023, India has only 0.9 beds per thousand population and out of which only 30% are in the rural areas. And India needs 20 lakh doctors by 2030. Along with this, India has been facing pressing challenges such as air pollution, water scarcity and deforestation. For years now, Indian cities have been ranked in the chart for top 10 cities with the most populated air. These issues have long-term consequences for public health and economic growth. The Global Environmental Performance Index of 2023 ranked India 180, ranking comes after Pakistan, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Myanmar, indicating significant environmental challenges. Along with these growing partnerships, India's path to global influence has also found itself some diplomatic challenges. China's rapid rise as a global superpower necessitates a delicate balancing act for India, especially in the context of border disputes and economic competition. Then comes India's proxy wars with Pakistan. India's relationship with Pakistan remains fraught, with the specter of terrorism perpetually casting a shadow over bilateral ties. And let's not forget India's extended neighborhood from Afghanistan to Central and Southeast Asia, which also demands Nonce diplomacy to navigate geopolitical intricacies coming to another aspect of partnership and opposition's multilateral. As India progresses, it is imperative to address these challenges and make substantial efforts to bridge the gaps. While the country celebrates its economic ascent, comprehensive improvements in education, 
హెల్త్ కేర్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ అండ్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ ఆర్ వైటల్ టు ఎన్షూరింగ్ అ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ అండ్ ప్రాస్పరస్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఫర్ ఆల్ సిటిజన్స్ ఇన్ నేవిగేటింగ్ దిస్ ఇన్ ఇంట్రికేట్ టెపిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ అలయన్స్ అండ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ఇండియా స్టోరీ ఎమర్జెస్ యాజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కాంట్రాస్ట్ ఛాలెంజెస్ అండ్ ఇమెన్స్ పొటెన్షియల్ యాజ్ ఇండియా చార్ట్స్ ఇట్స్ కోర్స్ ఇన్ ద ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ సెంచురీ ఇట్ మస్ట్ ప్రయారిటైజ్ హోలిస్టిక్ ప్రోగ్రెస్ ఎన్షూరింగ్ నో వన్ ఈజ్ లెఫ్ట్ బిహైండ్ యాజ్ ఇట్ స్ట్రైవ్స్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఎకనామిక్ ప్రాస్పెరిటీ బట్ ఆల్సో కాంప్రహెన్సివ్ వెల్ బీయింగ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఇట్స్ సిటిజన్స్ ఇండియా హ్యాస్ అచీవ్డ్ రిమార్కేబుల్ ప్రోగ్రెస్ లిఫ్టింగ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ టెన్ మిలియన్ పీపుల్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ పావర్టీ విదిన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఈక్వల్ ఇన్ టు ద పాపులేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ బ్రెజిల్ జపాన్ అండ్ జర్మనీ కంబైన్డ్ it has also made significant strides in the space exploration with the missions to moon mars and the sun india's gdp has grown ninefold in the past 30 years outpacing even the most advanced economies country boasts a significant working age population set to become world's largest by 2027 surpassing the combined workforce of us and europe india's rise is shaping not only its own future but also influencing the dynamics of the entire world The country's story encompasses urban development in the cities like Mumbai, Bangalore and rural revitalization in the places like Punjab, reflecting a transformation that resonates across the nation. Despite the challenges, India's impact on the global stage is undeniable. From its challenging beginnings to becoming a global economic powerhouse, India's journey is a testament to resilience, innovation and determination. As India charts its course in the 21st century, it should do so with the vision of not just economic prosperity but the holistic progress that should leave no one behind if you have enjoyed this video and found the information valuable don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your friends until next time stay informed stay curious thank you